so I was trying to figure out the best bit of technology I could use to create a video for you today. We call this a chalkboard. And you see, today we're going to talk about determinants. And determinants in math have two big roles. The first one is to figure out whether or not a matrix has an inverse. And the second one is to calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues. But let's stick to determinants today and figure out how to calculate a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's say we have matrix A that has the element A, B, C, and D. All right, now we calculate or we denote the determinant as determinant of A or A between bars. <laughs> All right, now if we want to calculate the determinant of A, we do it like this, A, D, minus B, C. Okay, now that we know the formula, let's try to go through an example. Let's say we have matrix A with the elements minus 1, minus 12, 6, and minus 20. Now let's try to apply this formula on this new matrix. So the determinant of A would be minus 1 times minus 20 minus minus 12 times 6. All right. Minus 1 times minus 20 is 20 minus minus 12 times 6 would be 72. And since we have a minus here with a minus here, it's going to be a plus. So 20 plus 72 is going to be 92. And this is the determinant of the new matrix A. Okay, now calculating the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is pretty simple. But let's try to take it a step further and try to calculate the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's say we have matrix A again, and it has the following elements. A11, A12, all right, so this is how our matrix looks like. The actual formula for calculating the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix would go like this. First, we need to take the first element here and cover the first column and the first row and multiply this element with the remaining matrix. And I'll show you how you do that. So, the determinant of A would be A11 and then you have A22, A23, a32, A33. All right, so now we took the first element. Now we move on to the second element. And we do the same. We cover this column and this row and we multiply the element we just made a circle around with the remaining matrix. And we do minus A12 and the remaining matrix is A21, A23, A31, A33. And the last thing we're going to do is take the last element and again we're going to cover this column and this row and we're going to multiply this element with the remaining matrix. Plus a13 times the remaining matrix. A21, A22, A31, A32. Okay, so this is how you actually calculate the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. And remember that I told you that you need to keep in mind the rules of the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. That is going to come in just down here in these matrices. 
So we're going to multiply these elements with the determinant of these matrices. So let's take an example and see how this will look like. So we will have matrix A. One, two, three, seven, six, five, four, nine, and eight. So we have the matrix one, two, three, seven, six, five, and four, nine, eight. And now we try to actually calculate its determinant. So the determinant of A would be the first element here, one, multiplied by this matrix. So six, five, and nine, eight. Minus the second element here, two, which is going to be multiplied, 7, 5, 4, 8. Okay, and now the last element, which is 3. We're going to multiply it by the remaining matrix, which is 7, 6, and 4, 9. Okay, now that we know how to calculate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, it's going to be very easy to calculate this entire determinant. So let's take it one at a time. I'm just gonna erase the blackboard so we have a clear calculation. All right, so we are at this stage. Now we're gonna do one times six times eight minus five times nine minus two, which is gonna be seven times eight minus 5 times 4 plus 3 which is going to be 7 times 9 minus 6 times 4 all right so now after we calculate this entire equation we come to the result 420 so the determinant of A would be 420. There we go. And this is how you calculate the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix with the help of a determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. And remember, if your determinant of the matrix is equal to 0, it means that we do not have an inverse. All right, so this was it for today. I really hope you understand more how to calculate the determinants of a matrix and that you enjoy my new technology right here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.